Hi, I'm Wayne Will. I'm a support center representative at the lovely Pipestone location here in southwest Minnesota. And today I have with me... I'm Wade Stein, also with the CMB Support Center. And today we're going to talk to you a little bit about some of the tools the operations center has to offer in getting your John Deere displays set up for a great harvest. We'll start out on the main maps page here. And then we'll go ahead and go into the setup icon here. And then set up file creator in this list here. Now we're going to go ahead and select our display type. So it's going to be for 2630 and generation 4 displays. We're going to name this fall harvest file 2021. Alright, we'll go ahead and just create a new one. If you had one from previous years, um, or you've already created, you could use that as a template and create from existing. We're going to go ahead and just create a new one there. And here's where we would select all of our land, our guidance lines, um, and flags, boundaries, all those types of things there. So we'll go ahead and just, we'll just go ahead and bulk select everything. We're going to want to send it all out to our display and then auto path if we've added auto path lines for our corn uh, we could go ahead and use um, most recent uh, seeding there if that was your source operation and then we go ahead and do a variety locator but we've got soybeans in our field actually so we're going to go ahead and use the soybean variety locator file you could just select all um, if you had both uh, for your file We'll go ahead and make sure soybeans are selected selected on each one of these fields that have it on the right side here. Okay. Should be one. Oh, okay. Perfect. Just verifying that you have everything there. And now we'll go ahead and hit next. And now we're going to go ahead and if our combine was in this list here, we'd select that. But we'll just go ahead and select that. Um, implements, you're going to make sure you want to have uh, your headers in there. And then we'll go ahead and hit next. Products, this is where you'd select your varieties here. So uh, we can just filter that out here for variety. And then we can go ahead and select all the varieties. Go ahead and hit next. Operators, if you'd like to put an operator in. And send that out as well. Finally, it gives you the summary when you've got everything selected that you want to send, and it gives you a breakdown of how many of each one of these types of resources are in this file here. So we've got two variety locator files here. That means two fields with variety locator um, data in it. So we've got our machines as well, products. Uh, so we've got our varieties and our operators. So now we can go ahead and make, once everything's in there that you want, you go ahead and hit create file. And this is where we have the option to create and send. And we're going to send it out to a combine, uh, but we don't have that in this list right now. But we'll send that out in a bit. Um, so for this instance, we'll go ahead and create without sending so that we can put it on a USB stick. And then we can go to our files page here. To download the setup file to a USB stick in Files Manager, just select the setup file in the list. Select Download, John Deere Data Manager, Download. And then you'll have to open it up, lower left hand corner, then you will browse for your USB stick and select transfer.
To import the variety locator file, select Menu, then System, File Manager, and select Import. In this case, we can import from my John Deere. Also import from a USB. Select the file, click Next. And select Import. To select the variety locator file, select Setup, and then click on Location to select your client farm field, and hit OK. Next, you'll select your crop type. In this case, it's corn. And then click on the variety box to select the variety locator map. You can select your variety locator map and click OK. You can also click audible tones and visible note notifications and click OK. file on a 2630 display from over the air. Go to the main menu. Go to GS3. Click on memory. Select the test zip setup file in this case. Select the profile name. Apply setup. And also I want to note this can be done um, with a USB stick as well with the manual import. and your data transfer is complete. To turn on the variety locator file, we'll need to select resources, then select your client, farm, field, and task in crop season. And then click on the document soft key. And here you'll select your crop type, brand, variety, and put a check mark in the variety locator box. And it'll tell you if the variety locator file is okay or not okay. Thanks for joining us this week for this week's Tech Thursday video. We hope you learned a little bit about getting your displays set up for harvest with the variety locator files and sending those set of files to your displays. Um, with CNB Operations, I'm Wayne Will. I'm Wayne Stein. And thank you for letting CNB be your John Deere dealer of choice. <laughs>